Mastercraft NXT 22. But first, a quick backstory for comparison reasons, just to let you know where we came from. We most recently had a 2002 Malibu Wakesetter VLX. Now, don't get me wrong, the VLX was a great boat. However, you could not get a surf wave right out of the box. You had to put a surf gate retrofitted on the exterior of the hull, along with a lot of fat sacks. We got fed up with this. It took time, it took effort, and my parents said enough is enough. Let's get a modern surf wake boat that has everything built in and can be controlled from the dash. We went with Current Water Sports. Bill was very patient and friendly. He let us demo numerous boats, and he even delivered the boat to our lake. It also came standard with Mastercraft's five-year warranty. All right, so on to the Mastercraft NXT 22. Now, my parents bought this boat new in 2017. I looked, it does not look like much, if anything at all, has changed for 2019, which is fine. The boat is fantastic. I will say, if you buy new, it gives you the options to customize it to your liking. Now, the options, however, that you would think would be standard may surprise you a little bit. There are some options on there like bimini tops, boat covers, you gotta add those on. But I will tell you that if you buy during the winter when the boat shows are occurring, there are lots of promotions happening that will cut back on the total. Oh, real life Spartan here. And today I'm gonna talk to you about the Mastercraft NXT 22. What does NXT stand for? I'm not sure, but if I had to guess, I would say Next Extreme Tobo by Mastercraft. You can expect Mastercraft quality at a fraction of the cost. Surf waves, wakeboard wakes, it's all still there. Without the power tower, the clamping board racks, the touchscreen display, is that stuff sweet? Yeah. Necessary to get extreme results? No. That's why I'm here today to talk to you about the NXT 22 and show you the performance behind this Ilmore driven engine that can tow a Spartan Rage barge. This boat's hull weighs in at 4,200 pounds and we opted for 2,140 pounds of ballast with the Surf System Gen 2. You can't go wrong with Mastercraft. We'll talk ballast really quick first. There is actually a hard tank and then a soft bag on top that it will overflow into. That was a add-on option that we did. So you have your port side ballast, you have your starboard ballast, and then you have your center hard tank up there. And again, it's 2,100. 40 pounds of ballast. Get you a quick shot of the engine itself. Uh, you gotta pop this one up as well over here. And I apologize for the uh, choppy camera work here. So here's the Ilmore here. Sheer power with the Ilmore 5000 MPI VD 1.57. Selected over 92% of the time, this engine delivers the goods. I can tell you with confidence, if you have your boat loaded down with ballast and passengers, this engine will still power you and get you on plane. If you're having difficulties leveling out off the starts, specifically with wakeboarding, use the bow down option. Spartans, we got that blower on for added safety. We're gonna go ahead and fire this beast up, see what we got. Unmatched on-water performance and handling is what you can expect with the NXT 22. With its deep V-drive haul, it slices right through the chop, and it turns like a Corvette. Now this here, this is for surfing, very straightforward. If you have somebody surfing port side, you're gonna go left, starboard, you're gonna go right. You also have your bow adjusting. Got this fine quality glove box here for some dry storage. Thoughts on the board racks. They are straightforward, they are definitely old school, but they function just fine and they keep the boards stable and locked in place. They also swivel to go underneath the Bemidi when not in use. Mastercraft's clamping board racks are definitely awesome, but unfortunately are not available on the NXT lineup. With the Mastercraft NXT, you can have 14 friends and family acquired. Now I'll say, this might be a bit of a stretch. We haven't tried to personally. The bow is spacious, you could have two adults laying out, or four total if they're sitting upright. The cabin, eh, I'd say six to eight Spartans would suffice. 
If you have more though, comment below, let me know. And now just look at the interior, the attention to detail, sleek and clean and complete. I love how the swim platform and the step up to the back are unified. Look at those textures. Storing options are a breeze and endless when it comes to the Mastercraft NXT22. The engineers designed a super deep boat. Because of that, wakeboards, surfboards, even humans, they fit wherever necessary. And if you're craving an even bigger wave, all fat sacks can be concealed under the seats. And let's not forget the cooler, added bonus points. Safety is always a standard with Mastercraft, and nighttime is no exception. You can expect three LED accent lights inside the cabin itself, as well as navigation lights standard to keep yourself visible on the seas. Music is often the final ingredient missing when I'm trying to stomp a trick for the first time, and I'm happy to report that the audio package on the NXT delivers the goods. We opted for, I believe, the middle bass audio package, which includes one subwoofer and two tower speakers, as well as a few miscellaneous speakers dispersed throughout the cabin. Now on this head unit, we also have the option to toggle the interior volume as well as the tower volume. A handful more add-on options here, starting with the rear-facing unit. We don't use it too often. However, I will say, the heater is a must. Outstanding performance. And the gel coat sparkles. When you are in the sun, those sparkles glisten and are true to the eye. Now let's not forget the boat cover and the bemity. A little bummed out those didn't come standard. Definitely necessary. The boat cover does a great job of keeping the interior dry, and the Bemidy is large enough to keep you in the shade if you want it. Now I will say on the Bemidy itself, there is a strip, if you look near the back, that is to avoid wear down on the fabric from ropes dragging. So far, it's working pretty well. However, I do wish it wrapped around the left and the right side as we are getting a little wear there. So you can pause right here if necessary. This is what Mastercraft recommends to get you the best surf wave possible. I will tell you, we follow that somewhat. However, we generally just have the tab 100% and we do not mess with the center tab at all. We also weight the boat evenly and ride between 10.2 and 10.6 miles per hour. Typically, my brother and I ride around 10.6. My father prefers to run around 10 to 10.2. I also want to point out how high this boat sits off the water. If you want to get a monster wave, by all means, it is very easy to do with additional ballast. But right out of the box, this wave is totally surfable. This is stock ballast with two passengers in the boat. So I'm going to go ahead and just let this surfing clip play out, but this is stock ballast with two passengers and I am riding at 10.4 miles per hour. So hopefully this will give you an idea about what is possible with the NXT 22 right out of the gate. wave itself has plenty of push, it's clean, it's crisp, and it's somewhat mellow. If you want to get a steeper wave, you need to add a little weight to the side you are surfing or play a little bit with the center trim tab. Wakeboarding time, Spartans. All ballast tanks filled, evenly dispersed, and the boat 20 miles per hour. I'm riding at a 60 foot line. Looking at it now, I probably should have been at 65 feet. The wakes themselves, they feel thick, they feel rampy. The one thing I will say is with the Gen 2 option, we have those two additional soft sacked ballast tanks in the rear. I feel if those were not filled, or if we had additional weight in the bow, the transition wouldn't be quite as abrupt. But nonetheless, these wakes are epic. 
In closing, the Mastercraft NXT series is the real deal. I hope Mastercraft keeps this lineup around because right out of the box, you can expect epic surf waves, MLG to the core wakeboard wakes, and anything is possible. Because of this, I give the Mastercraft NXT 22 the Spartan seal of approval. 10 out of 10. If you Spartans have any questions, feel free to comment below. I hope you found this information valuable, and as always, stay strong, Spartans.